What's going on, YouTube viewers? It's your dude, Henry Jack, and coming at you with another video. It's very quiet out here. Don't like it. Okay, let's carry on the rest of the video. Today, we're going to do another martial art club react video, and it's going to be old fashioned. Got my tight pants on. Let's carry on. Dude, Head Image Dragon coming at you with another video. I know you guys who are at least martial artists and uh, tricksters will almost definitely say that video. Wow. One thing for sure, I'm wild with my style. I mean, I already know how to do it, land it, I know how to land it correctly. I just want to go ahead and do things like beast like. That's just me. I just feel like I got to do it like a beast. Like, literally, literally, like a beast. Like, you guys saying, like, oh, you could have landed differently, but it's okay. I mean, I'm. it didn't hurt. It's grass. I mean,. <laughs> But other than that, let's carry on with what the video is for today. Before we carry on and get started, if you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming up in a later future. And for those of you who do not know what my goal is in this YouTube crazy world that we call a career. One thing for sure, I want to inspire you guys. I want to motivate you guys. And of course, I want to be that person that you guys feel like you look at my videos and it's bringing like a positive energy like vibe to you guys. I want to bring positive energy to you guys. I want to make you guys feel like you, you can like do anything you want. Go for your goals. I want you guys to do That's what my merch is really all about. See this? Boom. Fox Dragon Hybrid. See, the fox represents swift mind and skill. And of course, you know, quick wits. And the dragon representing invincibility, strength, and power. All together, you got a hybrid. That's why I made my merch. And that's what it is supposed to be. Most definitely pull you up to your true potential and most definitely help you achieve your goals and to motivate you guys to go into fitness. I mean, I'm not trying to like, literally I'm not trying to brag. I mean, I, I know I'm doing this cause I'm wearing like, you know, these pants right here, these tie pants, harem pants, because I want to go ahead and bring some traditional Kung Fu back and some martial arts. I know these have nothing to do with it, but I love it. But don't worry for those of you who are very skimmish about a dude being shirtless on camera. Don't worry, I'll put on a shirt, at least my type of shirt. That's right, I'm bringing back Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! Actually, this is actually a not suit jacket, but anime lovers, where you guys at? Of course, I'm a cosplay dude, so you know, yes, I got the wig. So, but it's okay. I look like a, I look like a Kung Fu genie. You know, like a Hung Gar genie. Like Kung Fu Genie, like make your five wishes. Yes, five. Orunga, off with of Dragon Ball Z. I'm gonna get on topic. Today, we're gonna be reacting right to another Martial Club video. Drunken Fist versus Praying Mantis. That dance with Drunken Gods. So let's go ahead and carry on with the rest of the video. I'm stoked for it. Let's go ahead and see it. I know this this video was old, but I mean, let's bring it back to old times to the traditional styles. Let's go ahead and go wild. Chica Bailo. Got to be a rapper. Nah, nah, I'll terrible. be terrible at it. I just have fun with that. I'd rather want to do that. Also, if you guys want to help support this dude's channel with awesome new videos and some martial art videos, go ahead and click the like, subscribe, notification bell, and not to mention, go ahead and purchase the merch in the link in the description down below. And for those of you who want to go ahead and to improve. Go ahead to improve your YouTube channel so you can get more views, more subscribers, more ad revenues, and of course, in, like, increase it by using tags and throw all that stuff. Go ahead and go to TubeBuddy. If you have seen my previous video, I'll explain what it is about and you get some good plans, good deals, and most definitely help you guys out with your YouTube and you get more viewers and subscribers, like I said before, right about now. I know that. 
Andy loves Dante. Oh yeah, Andy loves God oh, about that dude. Oh, this is old school. <laughs> this is old school. Whoa, check it out. Take a phone call. Oh, check me. You got that thing. I'm out of here now. Make a boxing choice. Oh, you got that thing, right? Oh, they get. Who put Ching Chu? Oh, Hongar. Okay. Oh, you know what? Check this out. Okay. Check this out. Boxing is big time. Oh man, I can't wait for this dude's foot to get ready and to be like healed. I bet he missed doing this. I'm praying for you, bro. I'm praying for you. I hope you'll be able to be able to come back to this stuff. I know you missed doing this. Oh snap, I remember doing something like this. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is awesome! For those of you who do not know of the Hungar style, Hungar actually comes with like styles from both the Tiger and the Crane style. With the ferocity of the of, of the Tiger, with the gentle and the longevity and balance of the Crane. Together makes Hungar. That is dude doing dragon. By the way, Marshall Club, if you're watching this, major mad respect for you guys making videos like this. You guys are really an inspiration for all of us other martial artists out here. Holy crap! This dude changing up. Oh, snap! Oh! Oh! He's changing up styles. Uh, oh! 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 I thought he was going for the groin. I thought he was going for the crotch. Usually, that's usually what the styles, most styles go to. Like, you got eyes, you got a nose, throat, groin. Usually goes to stuff like that. Oh, snap. Oh, oh. Woo. Oh. oh, my gosh. It's awesome. I'm still working on that flip, though. I mean, the B twist flip. I mean, I already know I do a B twist. I'm trying to work on, like, um. Dang, I forgot what's called. When you turn your body in a 720 motion and you, you ended up with a kick. No, 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 I try to figure out something out. Try to figure out a move. Meow, ma. Oh, he is getting it. Oh! Oh yeah. You got to one of my styles. Yeah! <laughs> See, here's the thing about, like, um, drunken boxing. It's very unpredictable. It's almost like Captain Wetter, but it's very unpredictable. Very useful too. Because one thing for sure, your opponent doesn't know what you're going to do next. I mean, anything can happen. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome! Right, if you guys check out, I'm going to put it right up here. You guys check out my previous video. I did like a uh, little snippet of my own type of drunken fist style uh, fighting. 
It's not as good as this, but it's pretty good. I was doing another react video and it was amazing. It was one like Jackie Chan. I was reacting to Jackie Chan's video. And <laughs> and uh I, I did a Joker fist out with this. Okay, like quit playing with me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Now I need to get back on my um Oh I did that too. I need to get back to my um tricking because I miss doing out I mean I still do it. May not be the best. Uh the butt the face time. Alright, get a move. Oh he had butt your butt. Oh, you're gonna drink more. You're in trouble. Rock Lee's about to go off on you, bro. And for those of you who don't know how a drunken fist. Oh, I love that! Oh, sorry, I lost track. Those of you who don't know what a drunken fist, fist looks like, it's pretty much like you're holding a tiny little cup. Like you got three of your fingers curled in to your palm and that one index finger is holding extended out a little bit further than the rest of the other fingers holding a cup, giving you illusion that you're holding a cup. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I enjoyed every minute of that video. Oh my god, I can't believe I did not react to this sooner. This video is amazing, guys. Marshall Club, if you're still watching up to this point, very much appreciate it. I really do. I really do. I gotta admit, this stuff is awesome. I mean, I gotta practice on some of this stuff, though. I mean, I already know how to do most of these flips. Um, however, um, one of these flips I can't do. I can't remember the name of it, but it's when... Uh, it's kind of like you're doing a 540 volley kick, but you're doing it like kind of reverse with the extra kick. So I'm trying to practice that. And you already saw that video earlier that I did. I mean, I did it. Um, I landed the way, and yes, I decided to land it that way. So don't say, oh my gosh, you failed. I, I mean, one thing for sure in martial arts, especially Kung Fu, we learn how to um, learn how to fall and learn how to get back up from that. So you, if you see like a martial artist like doing some flips and he lands on his back or lands on his stomach, well, actually, if he lands on his back, if he lands on his back and he looked like he can, uh, he hops back up from it. Trust me, he did it on purpose, or she did it on purpose. Like me, I landed like that on purpose. So, but that's just that's just me. Anyway, YouTube viewers, if you have not already done so, this is the end of the video. And like I said before, if you guys hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming up on my channel, and if you hit that notification bell, it's definitely gonna let you guys know what else I'm gonna do. So, I mean, my next video. So. I enjoyed this video, the Drunken Fist versus Praying Mantis Kung Fu. To be honest, I prefer more of the Drunken Fist. I mean, I've never been drunk before, of course. Dizziness can pretty much count. Um, I love the drunk, Drunken Fist because it kind of gives you that uh, that ambiguity when you're fighting somebody. Somebody who you don't know their style and you see them fight like this, you're thinking they're Drunken Fist. But even if you know the style, you still don't know how you can counteract it. That person can most definitely look like he's falling down and fool you to going on him. Or going, going at him like jumping him and he could just come at me like lay back and then boom extend that foot boom extend that foot out and you get kicked in either the nuts or the stomach or probably the face depending on how far or close you are to that person the praying mantis style kung fu that's still cool i actually like that as well i mean i'm still on the drunken fist style so i'm glad my dude Anna lee is uh on the drunken fist style no offense to his brother I, the dude's the dude's skills are tremendous I really wish he could come back to doing these videos again, a lot, or he's helping out, of course. I've seen the, um, the behind the scenes, which this is okay. I mean, I mean, his foot's in the boot, so at least it's nothing worse. And like he said, just keep going with you, get what you got, so that's good. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys keep supporting me. Thank you guys so much for helping me make it over this 344 subscriber mark. And hopefully we make it up to 400. Please help me we'll make that goal. And hopefully we can make it up to 1,000. So I can give you guys more entertainment. And of course more positive vibe and motivational vibes. That help you guys carry on with your goals and your everyday life needs. So most definitely thank you guys so much. Peace out. Bye.